Art is everywhere. Art is everything. Anyone can do it. Excuse me, Kev. I just got to interrupt you. Sorry. I just want to assure everybody here that although I am obviously a terrifying killing machine, I've already eaten today, had some oatmeal. It was just right. So y'all are safe, okay? Please bear with me. I just want to assure you that I am not a ventriloquist. In fact, like a middle school production of Peter Pan, you're going to see the wires. Oh, 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 you mean like this one right here on my paw? Hi! No, I was speaking metaphorically. What I meant was, my lips will most certainly move. 30 seconds in and you're already mixing metaphors? You sure that's a good idea, Kev? Considering all these people here, all these really smart people, the kind who actually watch TED Talks and listen to NPR and have opposable thumbs? Well, I was just trusting the audience to, <laughs> what a rube, never trust the audience. <laughs> They're the worst, fickle and, and temperamental and changeable and, and suspicious and capricious. You realize those all mean the same things, don't you? Shut up. They don't turn their phones off. They talk when you're talking, which just makes them talk louder. They heckle. No offense, Kev, but you're not quick-witted enough to handle a heckler. They throw fruit and rotten tomatoes. You think that website named itself? There might be a couple of big old brandy wines out there with our names on them just waiting to be lobbed up here because we're talking about other audiences. Yeah, other audiences down the hall, way down the hall, far away, far, far away in a galaxy. No, no, Disney is very litigious. And those audiences, far less attractive and not nearly as intelligent. They say less when they really mean fewer. They microwave fish at work. <sighs> yeah, those audiences are terrible. And yet, even if everything is going along swimmingly, they will turn on you faster than a side eye from your wife at the Oscars. Really, we're going there. Oh, that, that slap, that's why you don't say Macbeth in a theater. Isn't that kind of humor, you know, a little obvious, a little overdone, a little stale? Well, yeah, sure, that too. Well, then why say it? I didn't say it. It was your line that you wrote. Hmm. Yeah, because... Because audiences love low-hanging fruit crafted to superficially bond us with them over shared cultural connections superimposed on a collective sense of, of conspiratorial fraternization and a healthy dose of the primal neurological fear of social exclusion and rejection. What? Community, brah. We're all in this together. It takes a village what are you talking about? Everybody wants to get the joke. So you write a joke that everybody gets. Get it? Okay. Okay? Okay. You ready to start? Let's do it. Way to run out the clock. Shut up. Sorry. Art is everywhere. Art is everything. Anyone can create it, and everyone already does. The advent of the internet and the democratization of information, combined with advances in technology like smartphones and social media, means that everybody, 
means that more people than ever before have the ability and the opportunity to create and distribute high-quality artistic content that has the potential to reach a global audience. Most people have the nicest camera they've ever owned in their pockets right now, said the guy with pockets. And whether you're posting your brunch on Instagram or shooting the latest viral TikTok sensation or capturing a Pokemon, why not? I bet most of you can't picture yourself without it. Bro, have you no selfie respect? <clears throat> did you get your line? Yeah. Yeah, I did. I myself, a person with no training, uh, just a lifelong love of cinema, am currently editing a feature film that I shot on two iPhones, a Galaxy, a drone, a Canon DSLR, using the Adobe Creative Suite. Yeah, cutting that footage together and your new job here at the college and choreographing your ex-wife in a Broadway show, that is just the plot of Bob Fosse's All That Jazz. It's showtime, folks! That movie came out in 1979. Will you please give it a rest? It's called a segue, dog. It's called a non sequitur, dog. I don't follow. But like all trends, this one will eventually fade. And the pendulum will swing the other way. We'll grow weary of living every aspect of our lives online. We'll embrace privacy and anonymity over likes and followers. The more we're social online, the more we'll crave the genuine offline human interaction provided by real art. A desire for authenticity, intimacy, and real world, honest human connection will push the arts to be more collaborative and experiential, immersive, and personalized. Viewer-specific, multi-sensory experiences. Or not. Who knows? Right. Who knows? Nobody. The invention of the paint tube in the mid-19th century finally allowed artists to get out of the studio and paint outdoors. Within 20 years, Impressionism was born. And yet, without that seemingly simple innovation, would we still remember Monet and Van Gogh? The really big ideas, the game changers, usually come about in the most unexpected and unpredictable of ways. A wholly original idea, a concept that blows us all away, that makes us wonder, why did nobody ever think of that before? And how will we ever live without it? Until the next thing. And the thing after that. And the thing after that. But until then, what about this? Huh? You know, what we're doing here today. Is any of this art? Or just an ad hoc audition for Avenue Q? I don't know. Does it matter? I mean, as Stephen Sondheim wrote, stop worrying if your vision is true. Let others make that connection. They usually do. Thank you, folks. Good night. Don't forget to tip your waitress. Dude! There's no wait staff here. Where do you think we are? Open mic night at Caroline's. We're at Nazareth College giving a TED Talk. Well, then what the fuck have I been doing for the past 10 minutes? Thank you.